Um, so we're going to check the heads now, they've been boiling for a while. Um, we've got some different age ones in here, obviously the younger ones are going to um, boil quicker, so check those ones first. So we're going to take this one out of the water now, we're just going to check it's done. So we're looking for the, uh, the meat to have come off the front of the skull here and the meat around the back here to be nice and soft, you can scrape it off with a knife. Um, the only thing you've got to be careful of is really if you take it out of the water you want to put it straight into cold water because you can see how the, uh, the heat that's in the skull is already starting to dry the bone out. If it goes really bone dry um, it won't suck the uh, peroxide up properly. So out of the water, straight into cold water. Right, so um, they've come out of the boiler into the cold water, the bone's cooled down enough now that we can take them out. Um, we're going to go outside and pressure wash these now, but there's just a couple of things to be aware of if you're going to use a pressure washer. Um, if you're doing a young buck, um, don't get too close to the bone with the pressure washer because you'll actually start to flake the bone away. Um, and also on the, the short nose cut, um, these front nasal bones can be quite loose. Um, so sometimes just give them a little feel. If they're really loose, the best thing to do is just remove them completely. Um, then you can scrape them with a knife and then bleach them and glue them back on when everything's dry. Uh, the other thing to watch with the Munjack is the same thing, the nasal bones at the front don't come off. But also, if the tusks are quite loose in there, it's best to take those out, scrape them and then put them back in when everything's dry. So we head outside and give them a wash. Okay, so we're just going to start spraying this head down now. Um, we've got a rubber mat on the floor here because uh, the vibration of the antlers against the concrete is going to rub the trophy. So just put a little rubber mat down. Um, the thing to be careful of when you're cleaning around the uh, antlers is you don't touch the antlers with the spray from the pressure washer because it will take the colour off. So we've um, pressure washed off the heads, we've obviously got our full skull munchak, um, short nose cut row, long nose cut row and the full skull row which is what you want to do if you want to get it measured. Um, just a couple of things to do, sometimes if you can't get all of the, uh, the meat out from underneath the coronets with the pressure washer in case you take the colour off the antlers, just use your knife and you can scrape it out from underneath. Um, also, there'll be a small amount of um, brain lining inside the skull. You can just use your forceps just to pull that out so that's nice and clean. Um, the muntjac tusks, these are the two tusks out of the full skull. Um, what you want to do is just scrape a little bit of the meat off the point end of the tooth. Okay, now what we're going to do with that is we're going to, to bleach it as it is. We leave that little bit of meat on there and then when we put it back into the skull to dry out, that meat will actually glue it back into the skull. And then this is the, the front nasal bone with the tusks from the young lunch jack that we did. Um, just to show you, once you've boiled them, they just really easily pull out so that's the best way to get the teeth out. So now we're going to wrap one of them up in paper. Right, we're going to wrap the uh, short nose one up first. Just take a, a piece of kitchen towel, put a point on the end, thread it between the pedicles, wrap one half under the coronets one way, and the other half under the coronets the other way push them together and that way when we soak it in peroxide it won't come up onto the coronets and bleach the colour off it. We're just going to put one or two pieces of kitchen towel in the brain cavity I'm going to put one piece into one eye socket another piece into the other eye socket. 
going to put one right around the back of the skull, fold it underneath, and then obviously, last one around the front of the skull, fold that one underneath. Now we get our tray. Setting it in the tray. And we gently just pour some peroxide over the towel. Just a little bit. And then let it soak in. And obviously the contact with the skull for a few hours will bleach it. Right, so um, the heads have been soaking in the peroxide for about an hour and a half now. Um, so we're going to take them out and see what they look like. Um, the peroxide I've used is quite strong. Um, probably a little bit stronger than you could get at the uh, chemists. Um, so it doesn't take very long to bleach them. But what I'd suggest doing is if you're using diluted peroxide from the chemist is leave them to soak overnight and then take them out the next morning. So, so peel all that off. So I'm not sure you can see but the bleach has done the skull quite well. Um, I'm just going to show you the muntjac tusks we put in. If you remember we left a little bit of the uh, meat on the end of the tusk to glue it back into the skull and that was a, a blacky brown colour so you can see that the, the peroxide has, has worked, it's bleached those white. So that's it, so what we're going to do now is unwrap the other heads, rinse them under cold water and then you can just leave them out to dry. Right, so there you have it, the end of the process. Um, you've got a full skull munchak with the, the teeth that will glue themselves in when it dries out. Um, we've got the short nose cut on a row, long nose cut and the full skull version. Um, they've all been rinsed off so we'll just let them dry out now and um, you're ready to put them on a shield. <laughs>